Andy in the military, O.D. Green, as always, in series finales at home. Kentucky in the black as Pat Riley misses down and away to Austin Schultz. Break that, Ofer. Hit hard out to left. Lead-off homer for Austin Schultz. Second straight day with a first-inning solo shot for Kentucky. A kind of a similar situation we saw yesterday. as a fastball that ran back over the middle of the plate. And a little exclamation point there from Austin Schultz. Take a look at the swing. Fastball supposed to be outside, ran back over the middle. Line drive out to right field and down headed towards the corner. Collette turns for second as Isaiah Thomas picks it up and he's in with a double. Back to back extra base hits start the game for Kentucky. The senior catcher moves up to the three hole. First pitch swinging into left. UK doubles their lead and the guys at the top of their order are responsible. An RBI double for Colton Kessler and it's 2-0. Four pitch walk. Swing and a miss, strike three. Riley gets his first out and it's a big one. Tap back to Riley. He gets out of it. Limits the damage to two after the first three all at extra base hit. First hitting 361. This one's hit hard to left center and in for a base hit. Dominic Keegan never really fell off offensively, but he's gotten back to his peak performance these last three weeks. Very DH and also their primary left fielder for stretches. High bouncer towards third. Lee picks it up. Way late to first. Two on with two down for Vandy. Another tapper towards third. Ritter gets to this one first and gets Rodriguez. Kentucky up 2-0 after one as Zach Lee strands a pair of two out hits. For baseballs for the team, just trying to do everything they could to build that program. Riley gets his second strike out as Cam Hill. High school, he just found a way to really take advantage. Couldn't hold up there and Zach Lee's got his first strikeout. Playing shortstop in place of Carter Young, who's out with a dislocated shoulder. Colwick loops this one into right for a base hit. Second hit of the series for Tate Colwick to get Vandy started. Both Gonzalez men out there together. See what happens with this one in shallow right. Colette makes the call and the catch with his first base mitt. 3-0 to Rhodes. Ball four. Runner going. Rodriguez nails another. C.J. Rodriguez to take Colwick, and Rhodes is out to end the top of the third. Man, Enrique Bradfield Jr. Right up the middle, picked up by Lewis, got to throw quickly to get him, and they don't. Another infield hit for Enrique Bradfield Jr. Finale and avoid a sweep. Bradfield runs, Thomas out to left field. Let's watch Bradfield go as this ball settles in the corner. Enrique headed home, and he's in easily. Vandy boys on the board, RBI double for Isaiah Thomas. On the camera. Dom Keegan right back to Lee who knocks it down. Keegan going to try and beat it out. Three straight base runners in the Commodore third. DH. Line drive up the middle into center field. Thomas around third and he scores to tie the game. Jack Bolger having a great weekend. The head 3-0. Runners are off. Ball four. Bases loaded with one out for Tate Colwick. Nolan walked with one out. Out to right. John Rhodes, who leads the SEC in outfield assists, going to try and get Bolger at home. And Bolger's in. Now we got guys all over the place. Rodriguez and Noland are both at second. Rodriguez holds at second and will take third as Noland's tagged out on the way back. Ten the inning. So the run counts. Vandy takes a 3-2 lead. Second one-two pitch from Riley to Plastiak. Did he go? Appeal to third. Strike three. Third strikeout for Pat Riley. One in production is the same. You just hear ESPN announcers. He stepped to left field, and it lands in front of Leneve for a base hit. 
Going to second. And he's there. So a single and maybe an error on Laniv for the bobble. Hit hard. Gloved by Colwick on the backhand. Got him at first. A single and an error, but nothing to show for it for UK as Pat Riley's through four. Back lead to Jason Gonzalez. Called strike three. Well placed fastball on the outside black. Now still winless against Vandy going into this finale. Bradfield has another hit. Out into right center field. This time a two out knock as he takes a big turn and gets back in. Enrique's two for three. Vandy with all three of their runs last inning. A pitch out, but no throw. 42 steals in 52 games. Ritter handles that grounder from Thomas, and Colette tags him to end the inning. The Bradfield steal always fun, but that's the highlight of the fourth for the Commodores. He'll bunts this one. Riley going to try and make a play, and he gets there. Great catch by Pat Riley off the mound. Yeah. Ball four. Didn't miss by much with the off speed. Right back to Riley. He started the inning catching a foul ball about 30 feet away. That one came right oh back to his goodness. doorstep. Yes. Three righty hitters. Keegan to left center. That one's down. Pass Schultz and up against the wall. Keegan's got a leadoff double. Swing and a miss. That one runs down and in on C.J. Rodriguez for Lee's third strikeout. Finish off Ole Miss today, and they're leading the Rebs by 10. Nolan to center. Hill coming in, and he makes a diving catch. Cam Hill saves a run and keeps Vandy's lead at just 3-2. And Nolansville High School this year. Another grounder to Parker Nolan in the shift. Gets through Keegan. Swing and a miss, strike three, inning over. Chris McIlvain puts up a zero in the top of the sixth. Nashville Sounds have been at home downtown. Preds won their playoff game last night in double overtime. And Tate Colwick's got extra bases as Cam Hill can't make the play. Lead off double for Tate. 2-2 to Leneev. Swing and a miss. Zach Lee with his fourth strikeout. Gets away. Colwick went back, but still has time to get to third. Infield's in for UK. Swing and a miss, strike three. Lee teases him with the high fastball for back-to-back -back strikeouts. Has homered in both games so far this weekend for the Braves. Bradfield going to try and beat another one out, and Lewis gets him. A leadoff double, but nothing more for Vandy. Ball four. McIlvain couldn't get one in the zone there after getting ahead 1-2. Ball four. A four-pitch walk. Full count pitch from Fisher to Collette. Runners go. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Throw to third. Safe. Nearly an inning ending. Strike him out. Throw him out. 400s. High chopper. Nolan was playing deep. And Hugh Fisher gets out of it. A lot of pro teams have that in mind when considering him. Line drive up the middle. Dominic Keegan using the middle of the field once again. That's where he's gone for all four hits. He's four for four. Where he sat for the majority of the year. Hits that one well, but right to Ritter. Starts a ground ball double play. Nice job on all three fronts. Maldonado. Called strike three. Slider gets the strike call on the outside corner. Looks the same. Line drive to center field for a base hit. Bradfield keeps it in front of him. Estep holds it first. He's around in the outfield. Ground ball to Gonzalez playing in a third. Commodores are out of it. Three more outs to go in the regular season for Vandy as Nick Maldonado keeps the doors up 3-2 at 9.30. Central time, 10.30 Eastern for our folks in Lexington. As Rodden comes right back to it. Swings at this one and puts it out into right field for a base hit. 
Rodriguez heads to third, and Nolan going for second. Hustle double. Parker Nolan has his first hit of the series, and he turned it into an extra base hit. He's in that one. Hit towards short. Rodriguez coming home. Ritter throws. Got him. Ryan Ritter wasn't in, but he got C.J. Rodriguez to keep it 3-2. Ground ball. Picked up by Collette to second for one. Back to first, safe. Not sure why Laniv slid there, but it's first <laughs> and third with two outs. Dalez ahead of Harper. Line drive. Into right field for a base hit. Bandy doubles their lead. It's 4-2 thanks to the senior, Jason Gonzalez. Done it all for Vandy as a true freshman. Ground ball to Lewis. It should get Kentucky out of it, but Vanderbilt able to double their advantage. Two out RBI single by Jason Gonzalez. Commodore is three outs away from taking the SEC East. 0-2 no to Ritter. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, says Nick Maldonado. Vanderbilt's relief ace, his 20th appearance, and he's got another strikeout. A backdoor cutter induces the... Nick Maldonado trying to finish it off. Line drive into left field for a base hit. Kentucky brings the tying run to the plate, and it's T.J. Collette, their best hitter. Collette. Line drive to right. That's down. Thomas over to cut it off. Collette content with a single and hobbling towards first. Sure. Throw to second with Shelby running, and he's safe. Pitch was strike two. The tying runs in scoring position. One-two pitch from Nick Maldonado. Outside, two and two. Everyone in black and gold wanted it. Right field. Thomas going back, and that is out of here. Kentucky takes a 5-4 lead in the top of the ninth inning. And that's what you worry about right there with Kessler. An absolute bomb to right field. On a chest-high fastball, too. And take a look at the swing. And that was a well-executed pitch. He just went upstairs and got it. Wes Hamilton would have been strike three that ended the game, and now another runner of the board. Line drive. Deep to left. Laniv towards the wall, and it's gone. Two homers for Kentucky in the top of the ninth inning to make it 7-4. This one from Jake Plastiak. And with a 3-2 count as well. Holy cow. That fastball went in hard. I think it went out a little harder. Take a look at the swing. Fastball, again, and not a bad spot. Up in the zone, but still probably about an inch or two outside on at the end of the season. Really give you an opportunity. To left field. Laniv misses that one up against the monster. It'll be at least two for Chase Estep as Laniv gets over to that baseball. And Laniv's hurt. Murphy strikes out Lewis. Nine men come to the plate for Kentucky, including a pair of home runs. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Hardy comes out of the bullpen and gets a big first out with the strike. Hits today. Tapped off the end of the bat over Harney's head. Lewis charges, double clutch, not in time. There's your base runner. Ball four. Tying run coming to the plate. Way down and away, and both guys move up. Hit hard on the ground, picked up by Ritter, and the Cats will happily trade it out for a run. Two away, the tying run will still be at the plate as the score goes down to 7-5. Swing and a miss, and Kentucky wins. They were one out from being swept. The Cats win the regular season finale.
and finished the regular season 12-18. Commodores dropped to the four seed in the SEC tournament.